Hello YouTubers. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about some of the uh, most interesting tools that I've run into recently, especially when it comes to uh, code reviews. Um, due to uh, my position where I work and outside of work, most of the projects that I work with, um, I, I intentionally try to work with a, a whole group of engineers so we can share ideas and uh, work together on solving some problems. Uh, also because coding with other people is so much fun and I think the engineering process itself is a, can be a social process, can be a process where you get to know people and work with them and get to learn more about them and probably befriend them. So anyways, for, for the purpose of this video, um, when you do code reviews, a lot of people who potentially are in the ecosystem of uh, Microsoft, specifically Visual Studio, uh, Azure DevOps and such, you know, uh, they run into this uh, little problem with working with code reviews and sometimes you have to use a, the uh, web client so you can look at the um, uh, uh, pull request and determine, you know, look through the pull request and determine, you know, which code needs to be modified and which code, you know, needs to be refactored and all that kind of stuff. So I ran into this uh, really neat tool recently that uh, I noticed like a lot of people, I was actually surprised a lot of people didn't know about. If you go to Visual Studio uh, Marketplace, so it's marketplace.visualstudio.com, and if you go to, if you type in here uh, pull requests, you're going to run into this tool called pull request for Visual Studio. It's created by Microsoft Labs has over 23,389 installs. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know why like the, the low ratings in here are uh, kind of a surprise for me because the tool itself is, is really amazing. And I'm gonna walk you today through some of the stuff that the tool could do with a real life project. Some of the external projects that I'm working on uh, with some of my friends. Um, it, it, the tool is really, really amazing. So, okay, so you go and download this um, um, uh, extension and then you install that obviously because I already have the uh, extension installed so I won't have to do that but instead I'm just gonna open a project uh, one of the projects that I am working on these days uh, with some of my friends uh, punch points open project so I'm, I'm just gonna open the project in here uh, in Visual Studio but uh, and probably you don't really even need to do that. You really, what you really want to do is to make sure that you connect to um, your um, your server, your Azure DevOps server, while you're working on the project. So if you look in here, it's already connected to Azure DevOps. You'll notice you have a button in here called Pull Request. I wonder if I can make this uh, larger due to the for the folks that are um, uh, using. Uh, their phones. Let's let's see if I can make this a bit larger. I don't think I could do that. So uh, you're gonna have to gonna have to go and 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 watch this on your computer. So anyway, so if you click on uh, pull requests, usually the native scenario is that you'll be able to see pull requests, but you can't do, really do much about it. So I see here a pull request for notification service refactoring from my friend uh, Kenny. If you double click on that with this tool after you have installed this tool, if you double click on that, you'll see this option in here and you could click open. And when you open, uh, it'll show you on the right side in here or the files that have been changed. But in addition to that, you could actually go through these projects. It shows you the difference, the diff, between the two files and if this view is really annoying to you you could actually shut it down like that right so this will show you the diff you know this will shut it down for you uh, you could also uh, view it as uh, inlined right you could you could view your stuff as inlined um, if you really don't like that view without actually having to go through the um, um, uh, the website all right so I personally prefer just this view because this view gives me much more clarity there isn't a lot of colors going on and whatnot and in addition to that it really doesn't uh, matter like it, it really doesn't matter what code has changed uh, if you're look if you're touching a file and you see other things going on with that file you probably should point out that these things should be cleaned as well in other words 
you know, it's like um, if you uh, read the Clean Code um, uh, book for Robert C. Martin, also publicly known as Uncle Bob, some of the things he talks about, he talks about the Boy Scout rule, which is to leave code cleaner than you found it. Right. So if someone is touching a file, you know, and the, uh, even though they did changes in, in, in a different place in that file, if you as a code reviewer notice some things that are not right, you should probably point them out. Now, whether they will um, uh, work on these changes on a different task and different PR or not, that's not the issue. The issue here is that we need to point out some inconsistencies that we see in our code and we continually maintain our code and make sure that it looks Right. A lot of people, like I notice a lot of people when you when, when you leave a, a code review, a comment for them, and it's not a part of their changes, they say it's not my changes. That's not an ownership mindset. Okay, that's not an ownership mindset. If you touch a file and you see something that's not right, fix it. Just fix it. So let's go back to the uh, code here. So I'm looking at this code here. Uh, my friend Kenny uh, has one of the cleanest uh, codes in the world. So it's going to be very hard for me here to... Um, to point something, ah, there, there's one. So let me um, um, zoom in a little bit and I see here a var and he should be using the actual type. So I'm just gonna right click in here and say, um, we should, if the right side isn't clear about what type it's returning, we should probably explicitly define explicitly uh, reference the type uh, in the return variable rather than using var. So the, the great thing about this is that you could actually review your PR before you submit it. Uh, because I'm using the dark mode, it's not super visible that actually it honors all these little uh, annotations and, and uh, special characters that you could use. You could also use emojis, like it's it's really cool about using emojis. Um, some people love to use emojis just to, you know, code reviewing process is a pretty tense process, like some people get really offended and defensive, you know, when you leave a comment. So if you leave them, you know, a smiley emoji or something like that, it might lower the, you know, the intensity of, of the feedback. Not a lot of people the, the culture of, of getting feedback is not something that you expect everyone to be um, uh, familiar with and easy with. And I always tell people this. I always tell people, uh, if, you, if you're getting feedback on your PR, remember that at the end of the day when your PR uh, is merged, it's merged under your name, right? So everybody who left you a comment on your PR is actually contributing to the quality of your code that's going to be written under your name. So the credit completely goes all to you. I always think about uh, um, PR reviews as people who are coming to you before you go to a party or you go to a wedding and they're fixing your ties and cleaning anything they find on your suit, you know, shining your shoe, making sure your shoes are tied. They're helping you look better. So you shouldn't look at uh, pull request feedback as something that you should be defensive against. You know, just discuss it. It's a social experiment. Just talk to people, see why they, that's their concern, what's the standard, what should be right and what should be wrong. Uh, it should be much better this way. So anyway, uh, not going on a tangent here, you could also reference in this tool, you could go in here and say things like, okay, so I'm done with reviewing the um, uh, how my, my review looks like, you could actually reference um, uh, user stories and tasks in here, and I need to hook that up, but um, it, usually if you're setting up your server with tasks and user stories, this will show up. You could attach an image if you want to. You could uh, mention somebody, so I could do at, and then I mention you know, someone and say, hey, this is your uh, PR, just an FYI, obviously because it says PR, um, a, he will definitely get the notification. So if you click comment in here, right? So that's a comment right here. You could actually review all the comments in the PR at the bottom here by clicking pull request comments. Uh, at the same time, you could also change the status. You could edit your comment. You could uh, click uh, whether you like someone else's PR or not. You could respond to a comment and you could uh, uh, um, delete a comment, right? Uh, one feature that I really like in here 
is that let's say I really ad admire and appreciate the culture of uh, appreciation and recognition of other people work right so if someone just the same way we leave feedback for things that we don't think look right we should also leave feedback for things that we think uh, look right right so the things that we think are a great work from the engineer we shouldn't just pass by it we should go like for instance I could go here and and do right click and leave add a like so you see that like like uh, icon that shows up in here so if they're using the same tool to fix their own PRs um, they will be able to see that like now what does that look like on the web let's go in the web let's go to my project in here and let's go to punch points let's go to uh, repos let's go to PRs here is the PR that's open and you could see in here so when you say like it just leaves a like signature but it, it marks it as resolved so it doesn't show up on top here as if it's multiple um, uh, feedbacks that they need to address it doesn't stress them out like if you like 20 things it shouldn't show up as 20 unresolved comments so it just leaves a like like that but in addition to that this here is the comment that I left <laughs> excuse me on this uh, PR so so this here is very important it's a very easy tool it's a very simple tool I think it's very very beneficial um, I'm gonna leave the link to the uh, to that Visual Studio extension in the, um, the in, in this video in the description for this video and uh, again just like always if you have any questions comments and concerns uh, feel free to reach out and thank you so much for uh, watching don't forget to like and subscribe